Hi, this is Marcus on Celebrate Jesus. Right knowing, right leading. John chapter 13 and verse 17. Now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. Right connections get you on the right direction. Maps in the mobile devices aid in locating unknown places. Such an act is possible because of the network connection. It is so true with our connection to Jesus. If we are connected to Him, the directions of our life, though unknown, will be known and His guidance can help us reach the destiny. Jesus, after completing the task of washing the disciples' feet and responding to their questions, declared that they would be blessed if they do as He did for them. Is Jesus asking them to wash the feet of the people to whom they would share the good news? No, not at all. I don't know what it meant for the disciples then since they only had one occasion of going out and sharing about the kingdom of God. They haven't become full-fledged in serving Jesus. They are yet to get started. But before that, Jesus wanted them to be aware that they were called to be servants and not masters. He wanted them to realize their calling. It was a blessing for them. Jesus wanted them to know right so they can lead right. How do I lead right? It is fascinating to note that Jesus called us to be servants he wanted us to lead. Doesn't it look oxymoronic? Of course. Yes, he wants us to be servant leaders. What do I do? Check often to see if your connection is right with Jesus. I'm sure you would suddenly be aware. When you know it is not right, stop leading and set your connection right with Jesus by being alone with him, fasting and praying. This season of Lent is a nice occasion to do so. God has called you to be a blessing and sure enough to bless you too. Therefore, to lead right, be right with Christ the Lord. Happy Lent. Celebrate Jesus. Amen.